How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and I've been digging through some of my videos and realized that I haven't made a unbrick slash restore video for any Samsung devices in quite some time and a lot of you have been asking for it so because of that I've got my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge right here uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to use Odin and firmware to get your firmware restored or your device unbricked whichever it may be now this process is gonna work with pretty much any Samsung device that you can get the firmware for. So it's going to be the same process, I'm just going to be doing it on my S6. On that note, let's go do this. Probably the most important thing to do when you're fleshing the firmware on your device is you need to know what you have, right? What, what Android version, what device are you on? So basically, if you come in here to About Phone, you can see right here, there's your model number. So mine is the SM-G925T. And then the next probably most important thing you wanna know is your build number. And normally the last couple digits is the most important. So we're on the AOCG build number. And with those two things, you're pretty much gonna be able to figure out what firmware you need. So let's go ahead and go to my computer and download the correct firmware and show you how to get that. Now, if you don't, have your device turned on and you can't check this information. Um, normally you can just Google it by Googling. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge T-Mobile. Just Google that information. You'll normally find a model number and hopefully you can figure out what the latest build number is. They do come in alphabetically so you know you should be able to figure it out. Worst case scenario always install the latest one you can find or the newest. So we're downloading some files here, right? So this is Samsung Mobile or sammobile.com. This is where I get all my firmware. You do have to have an account. You can see here's you know my information, Tom SGT123. Um, but account's free, just sign up and then you can download any firmware you need for free, which is awesome. So again, for me, I'm on the SM-G925. And you can see it automatically comes up with some of these. Um, and this is where it's important to know your build number because if you go to the F, I'm just going to show you that there's a lot to choose from. So you need to know that build number, which is going to rec going to correlate with these ones, right? But that's not mine, so I need to go back to the right one. So SM-G925T, and I'll click on that, and I'll hit this button, and. For me, I only have one firmware to choose from, and it is the OC or AOCG, which we showed in the video earlier. So you just click on it, and then you come down here and you say regular download or fast if you are a paying pr premier member, you can get it downloaded a little bit quicker. Pretty much it. That's your download, that's your firmware. That's the most important thing you need to have downloaded. All right, we got that downloaded. Let's shoot over here. I'm gonna show you this program. So you're going to download this file right here. Again, I'll link you to all this in the video description. No big deal. But download this right here. You just click on it and it'll download. Okay. Then come over here to drivers. And if you don't have the latest Samsung drivers, you can come in here and download. I think it's this one's the latest right now that I have in here. I might update that. We'll see. But anyway, there's the latest Samsung drivers. Go ahead and download those and run them if your drivers aren't automatically installing for you. Okay. That's the, that's the key. All right. Once we've got that, um, here's Odin. You just extract it. This is what it should look like once you've extracted it into a folder. I would, you can do this on your desktop. This is in a file system I have set up already. Here's the firmware, which is this one right here. I've extracted it, and it should be left with this file right here, which is um, a .tar.md5. Okay, that's what you should be left with once you extract these. I use 7-Zip, it's my application of choice to extract everything. Here, I'll show it to you. 7-Zip, see? This is definitely what I like using. All right, so we have everything here. We're gonna go ahead and open up uh, Odin. So you just go up here to the Odin EXE. Go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna pull it over here so we can see it. Everything looks pretty good, right? From here, let's go ahead and connect our device in download mode. So to flash the firmware, you need to put this device into download mode. To do that, you can go ahead and turn it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and power mine off. Now, if your device is already off or already in some form of a boot loop, you probably need to hold um, power and um, 
volume down and that'll kind of do like a hard reset for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get into download mode. So the best way to do this is to hold the volume down, hold the home button, and then hold the power button. If you hold this long enough, it'll get you into this mode right here. And this is a warning about the device, yada, yada, yada. If you want to flash custom firmware, yada, yada, yada. You read through it if you want. Uh, just hit volume up to continue or volume down to restart the device. So I'm going to hit volume up. And this is download mode. There is some grid information you can read through up here on the top. So that is mine right there. It basically tells you your product, your current binary, your current system. Mine's just say Volt Official. Uh, I have tripped my Knox warranty, so you'll see that mine is tripped out. But it just gives you some good information. It says Odin uh, mode right up there on the top. This is also considered keys mode. So if you see this window or if you see Odin mode, either one will work with Odin. So either download mode or keys where it tells you to connect to keys, it's still download mode. It's the same thing. So just take your cable, plug it into your computer, and plug it into the device. There we go. Now, if everything looks good, your drivers should be installed or installing at this point. And to make sure that it is communicating correctly, you should see something like this in Odin. It should say added. That means it's connected. It should say some kind of COM number here. It really doesn't matter what the number is, but you should see something here. All right, so from here, very simple. We're just gonna click on AP. And we're gonna to navigate to where that firmware is. So mine is right up here. And then here it is in that folder, .tar.md5. Go ahead and click on it. And what this does at this point is, this thing is signed or zipped, I guess, with an MD5, which is like a hash check to make sure that the file is what was downloaded, to make sure that this has the same integrity, there wasn't a bad download, which is really awesome and Odin goes ahead and checks it right now. So this is gonna make sure that you at least have a good download of your file, which is awesome. So we're gonna wait for this to finish. It can take a little while to run. All right, guys, here you go. It is completed. It took about three minutes for that to do the check to make sure it's good. It should say, you know, finished, successful, and, and you're ready to rock. So from here, all you got to do is go ahead and hit the start button and let's get this unbrick restore rolling on my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Go ahead and click start. And so far so good. It says getting pit for mapping. So at this point it should move faster. This is something that I run into quite often where I get this failure or it just freezes in the middle of the process. This is not to panic. This is what you do, okay? Just watch. Go ahead and unplug it, okay? It says failed, removed, yada, yada, yada. Plug it back in. Should say add it again. And then go ahead and hit start one more time. Hopefully this time we get a better result. So if you guys cons consistently have problems like I am having right now with getting this working, another thing you can try to do that does function for me is go ahead and just hold down power and volume down. And eventually what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and reboot. Then hold um, your same buttons to get into Odin mode again, which is going to be the home button. We'll do it one more time here. Mine's going to boot, but it'll shut off eventually. There it goes. So we're going to get back into it again. We're going to go ahead and plug our device back in. We're going to hit volume up and see if this will get our device added. And we're going to give it another try. So let's go ahead and hit start. There we go. That time it's looking much better. So you can see everything's running. Now, while this is flashing, okay, while this is happening, it's very important you don't bump anything, you don't disconnect anything on your device. Very, very important that that does not happen. All right. While that's also going, I want to talk slightly about downgrading. So you can downgrade your device. So if you want to go from, for example, Lollipop to KitKat, that can be done sometimes, I'd say in air quotes. And the reason I say that is because um, sometimes they put a flag in that doesn't allow downgrading and other times you can do it 
And especially if you're doing something from KitKat to another KitKat version, then it's fine normally, no issues. But going from like Lollipop to KitKat can sometimes have problems, but sometimes it's functional. So for example, on the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Note 3, you downgrade from Lollipop to KitKat to root your device and then upgrade back to Lollipop to maintain root. So it is functional and you can be done with this exact same process as long as you're downloading to the correct firmware on KitKat. That being said, I just wanted to cover it really quickly because a lot of people are asking questions about it. Well, let's let this thing flash. The system's going to take the longest. It's about halfway through now. Um, and we'll come back to it as soon as it wraps up this flashing system. All right. So as you guys can see, it has passed here on the computer. Our device is rebooting and actually going into download mode or I should say recovery mode. Right there it's wiping uh, data so that you'll have a full completely restored device once it is done. Once we go ahead, we're done on the computer here. You can close out Odin and I'll show you this device once it finishes booting here. You can see I am on T-Mobile. So as you guys can see the device is fully booted back up and it looks like this is kind of interesting because I thought this thing would wipe out your data and it doesn't look like it does. So if you wanted to fully factory reset it after you do the Odin uh, restore, you're going to have to boot into stock Android recovery and manually factory reset. I have a video on that as well, so, you know, the usual. But uh, there you go, guys. That's going to be how to unbreak, firmware, restore your Samsung device, whether it is downgrading, restoring, or unbreaking. Hope you guys liked this quick video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. We're Junkie out.